kids. You ready to get out of here? No, I want to stay. We're ready to. Oh, let me get my. Let me get my buddy. Go to Alaska. Okay. Oh. Going to Alaska today? Today. Already? What's the town that we're going to called? Town of Alaska. <laughs> I love that town. Skagway. Skagway. Ow! All right, Skagway, here we come. Coming for you. Ready! Send us a message a few weeks ago, and Daniel right now is working 90 hours a week on an oil rig in order to try and save enough money so they can travel for an extended period of time. And we met up with this amazing couple last year. We were in Phoenix, Arizona, and we went out to dinner, and we ended up spending probably like three or four hours with them just hanging out after. And we could really relate to this couple with just the fact that they're doing whatever it takes to make this happen. But I think for us it really resonates when we see a young couple that wants to travel when they're young yeah. and they're so making sacrifices right now to do whatever they possibly can to make it happen. Right. So we're gonna stop talking and show you guys this amazing drive that we're taking right now all through the mountains to get to this place called Skagway. We gotta take a quick break. You guys have to see what's just over here. We're gonna get the drone up in the air. Check this view out. We just haven't even been able to talk. <laughs> just take a look just at what's around. Just look at this. What are you thinking, Dean? <laughs> so we're gonna take some time just to take this freaking view in. Cause it is unlike anything we've ever seen before. 
and uh, then we'll get back to this video. We just need a few minutes. to us through email um, and shared with us their story and her name is Anne. She's actually been a patron with us for since the very beginning and she's been sharing with us that she's been keeping her eyes peeled for a vehicle to buy so she can live and travel in. And we were super pumped when we just found out that she bought that vehicle. She just bought it last week, shot us an email, she finally came over to the dark side Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. And not only that, I think she's planning on starting a YouTube channel too. So Anne, we just want to congratulate you on your new purchase. Um, and we're very excited to see where this journey is going to take you. And all your new videos. Yes. We're super excited to see your videos. And uh, let us know once the channel's up and running. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skagway. <laughs> The guy you just saw is Addison Hanna. He runs a glass blowing shop here in Skagway. He just drove up from Missouri and he opened up a shop here and he lives here now in a freaking ambulance. So we got some details from him. He told us about this hike that we're going up to now, but we're gonna do some cliff jumping, I think. Kaylee, you gonna jump off the cliff? I don't know if I can make it up this hill eating this ice cream first, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> that is far. You gotta really jump out. You gonna do it? Just gotta give me some time to think about it. Okay, 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 okay. all right. One, two, two, three! Well, we'll be here. Nope. Where are you gonna go in the water? There's no way you're gonna catch it. It stopped. It changed its mind. It's trying to find a flat surface. It but, said the home point was right here. Should just brought it. But back. wait, your phone still. Disconnected. Is your phone still on though? Yeah. Right. Try to play around with it. See if there's somehow you can. Are right, you guys just meet me over there? But I think Jordan should try to go get it, in case. I'm leaving everything right here. And then if it comes back, we'll get it. Okay, so the drone decided to have a life and a brain of its own and it's just floating in midair, beeping. Jordan's phone died and it's not letting us control it with the controller. So Jordan just ran, he has to run all the way across the lake here, the reservoir, to try to get to the other side <laughs> and hopefully 
it decides to try to land near shore and he can just grab it in his hands. But we'll see what happens. Hurry, Jordan! Hurry! Oh, no. Hurry! Oh, f oh no. no, no. The drone is gone. The drone is gone. It fell into the water and now it's just sitting there. Jordan didn't make it there yet. Uh, he's gonna be very upset. What? It's in the water. It's in the water? Yep, but it's by shore. You may be able to let it dry off and recover it. Do you see it? Oh. 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 You know, there might be hope though. How long did it go in? Like two minutes. Oh. Well, things changed pretty quickly there. Yeah, very quickly. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll put it in rice and uh, <sighs> see what happens. I just missed it, huh? Please. Yeah. Probably two minutes. You think two minutes? Yeah. But I, in the water, <sighs> one minute or five minutes isn't going to matter. Right. I was screaming for bears. That's why I was like kind of slowing down. Oh, I, you were scared. I was, it was also hard to run like you saw yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's keep doing it. Let's keep okay. going. Let's go. Let's let me, let me put, put it back in the air. No. Do you well, think it'll do the job? We'll see what happens. Hey, what can, what can you do? Things happen. Things happen. What can you do? And uh, hopefully, we'll see tomorrow if that works. Yeah. But I want to get back to this video that we were talking about because the next story we've been kind of saving for the end because I think it's a really good one. Don't you think? Yes, for sure. So the last story is from our friends. Their names are their YouTube names are Les Petite Nomads. And the girl that we've been talking to mostly is this girl named Gabrielle. And Gabrielle just bought an Airstream with her husband and is converting it now for her and her husband and her daughter. Is it daughter or son? Two, two kids. For two I kids. I think it's a girl and a boy. Girl and a boy to travel around in. They're mid-renovation right now. And it's the same kind of thing. We've been talking to them. We talked to Gabrielle on the phone once a month. And we've been talking to her for what, like four months, three months, something mm -hmm. like that. And just to see the progress of where they started and now what they want to do now and how they want to start a YouTube channel. And Gabrielle actually went over to Bali to make a video for, was it a hotel? It was for like a resort. Yeah. And it's just really cool to see the progress that she's made, how she has a vision of traveling in an Airstream mm -hmm. and supporting herself by supporting her and her family by making videos, right. not just on YouTube. She wants to do YouTube, but then also by working with companies and like making videos for them. So now you might be wondering why we've been talking about these stories all day and why we made a whole video dedicated to these people. All these people getting these vehicles like so recently, it kind of made us remember when we first found out about van life mm. and how it felt like something that we could never was like not attainable yeah like i was like so envious of everyone doing it i was like man i would love to do that but that's something i can never do and then like something sparked one day i was like well, why the hell not and i think the point i think what we wanted to share is there's so many people every single day that are deciding to hop in a vehicle spend less money on expenses and travel more and live more and and it doesn't necessarily mean totally like picking up your life dropping everything and going like it could be as simple as just hopping in your mom's minivan asking her to borrow it for a week and go for a you know a little mini road trip <laughs> yeah but just doing it in a way that is affordable sustainable, sustainable so you yeah. can live more so right. you can spend that money living your life rather exactly. than consuming things so we're driving up to a campsite we're gonna drive somewhere over there yep and uh make some food make some dinner and then hop in bed and then try and fly this drone tomorrow yeah we'll see what happens hopefully it works stay tuned fingers crossed and we'll see you guys next time peace peace out out